Hi guys, time for the ramps assembly. Should come pre-assembled. These are your stepper drivers, the green. This is the ramps board. This is the Arduino. I'll go through all the components really quickly. This is where we power our hot end. The middle two terminals are D9, which is to power a fan using uh, pulse width modulation. That can also be used to power a laser, although we do not recommend you do that. Wink, wink. And then, because <laughs> that would not be FDA approved, uh, the final thing is the heated bed is powered over here. Your power supply, if you got the upgrade kit, is going to look like this. Um, these two operate the board. And so if you don't have the upgrade kit, you'll only have two wires that should be plugged in over here. It should go red, or I mean, ground positive, ground positive. Uh, these two wires over here are to power the heated bed. So this does everything else. This only goes to the heated bed because the heated bed takes such amount of current draw. Um, all right, moving onward. You got a USB plug-in. You do not power the Arduino through this barrel jack. You only power the ramps. Everything else is powered downward. Uh, LCD. You can add a stepper driver over here. These are your limit switches, X negative. X maximum, we don't use maximums on this design. You can if you want to add it yourself. Uh, y minimum, Y maximum, X, Z minimum, Z maximum, and this set of four, I don't ask me, I don't really know. You got um, motor wire plugins, X, Y, Z, extruder one, extruder two. Then you have two on the Z, so if you have dual Z columns, you can run two motors off of that two pairs of pins. This set of six pins are your thermistors. So you've got like T1, T2, T3, or they may be labeled T0, T1, T2. Um, so the far set over here is going, of these thermistor pins, is hot end. And then the next set is gonna be heated bed um, and the third set could be used for a second hot end. All right, so that's your ramps board. Oh, one last thing is this is your terminal block. Um, your terminal pins will go on these two little pins way back in here like that. Um, they are polar, polar specific, so your positive is that way and your ground is this way you also notice on your power supply that your positive is that side of the pair and your ground is on this side of the pair when it comes to these screw terminals it's inverted so your hot end it doesn't really matter because the hot end they're both just these red wires even though it shows that they're you know we added this on um, it doesn't really matter which way you go in. Um, same with your heated bed, but your fan pins, you do need to know which side is specifically uh, polar, like hot or ground. And it'll be red on the inside, ground on the outside. So it's like ground, hot, ground, hot. And then from here it goes ground, hot, ground, hot, ground, hot. So everything's heading from ground on the outside to hot in the inside for that. If that makes any sense, um, that's how I remember it anyhow. Okay. So what we want to do to start with is attach, of course, get out the few components that you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a couple T-nuts. Um, looks like I forgot two M5 nuts. Um, I want to start by attaching you could do this the other way around. It'd probably be easier to go ahead and throw this in place here really quick. Um, these are the terminal blocks that I kind of came up with. Um, I knew I, we needed to power several accessories with 12 volts. So I was looking at different terminal bus supplies. Um, online and I thought you know all I really need is a bolt that can sandwich some wires and instead of getting a five dollar bus supply I use like a ten cent bolt and nut and uh, 3d printed the positioning of it so these can be kind of reiterated I'm sure we'll redo the ramps holder down the road and probably come up with a better solution for 
all of this. But this is your terminal supply. So there's recesses for the N5 nuts, washer to you know reduce the twist of the bolt. Um, those go in there. This guy just drops in. It should lay nice and flat. You should see perfect flatness. Hopefully your board is nice and flush like that to the ramps holder. Um, these guys, you only got three of these. They go here, here, and here. So, they should be exact length where they drop right into the plastic. Might just barely go through it just a tiny bit. You can probably 3D print a little collar or something to offset that if they're too loose, but that feels pretty tight and they're like really flush in there. Um, another solution, there's a lot of different ramps holders. You don't have to mount this up under here. I was just doing that so that we could reduce the footprint of this and really make it like a nice packaged, you know, concise little setup. Um, and that was the what I came up with. All right, and that one's in. So it's solid. You know, these things are they're good that way. Um, all right, your next step is to take the frame. This is four millimeters thick, where these metal plates are only three. So since we had to add the one millimeter washer, this we don't have to add the mil one millimeter washer because the plastic's four millimeters thick. But we still have to get it to thread through. I may have to open up the size of that hole. Um, so I'm putting an M5 by 10 bolt. You probably uh, tap it out by over threading it. There it goes. Same with this guy. Put him in this side. Put your M5 T-nuts on. So these are the, to mount it to the frame. And then we'll go over wiring. The wiring seemed to be the least descriptive area of the user manual. And the wiring, it's, it's a little bit complex, but if you know where everything goes, like on the board, then it, you know, by me going through this and saying this is the LCD screen and these are the limit switches and they go X, Y, Z, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. Thermistor, one, two, three. X, Y, Z motors, E motor, hot end, fan, heated bed, and then your terminal supply, which these are the 12 volt terminal. Comes from there, like between these, uh, these are fuses, like an automotive fuse, but a little different style. All right. So, if you know what all the pins are, and you can look up ramps wiring diagram online, and you can find a ton of information um, on how to assemble all this. It's uh, like how to wire the ramps. It's super easy. Um, I guess at first it's just foreign, you know, it's not familiar, but anything you do once or twice becomes easy. All right, so the board should stick out just a little bit. It's supposed to be seated somewhere around right here, according to the uh, CAD model. That was the most, um, the best spot for it, just in general. Uh, it should be where the bolt heads are kind of lined up with these guys. Um, and like I said, you should be able to slide this out, drop it down, and still be able to access it and work on it. Uh, one thing you do want to check before we finish assembling this is, you see these stepper drivers? There should be a flat spot on the screw, and you're going to want to make sure that flat spot is pointed that direction on each of these stepper drivers. You also want to double check to make sure this heat sink isn't shorting out any of these pins. Sometimes it, it's a little bit close. You can pry that, just kind of gently pull that off there and kind of reseed it. Make sure it's not shorting any pins. And uh, as long as no pins are shorted 
and the flat spots facing right, you should be in good shape. And also maybe pull these MOSFETs apart. It's a little, uh, little guys here. Make sure those are vertical, and this should be should be in great shape. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to install all the wiring. And that is a bit of a task, but we'll go ahead and uh, do that in the next video. Until then, you pretty much got everything assembled other than wires and a little bit of tuning. All right, see you in a minute.